Hugo. 1460 WVOX. Now live from Whitney Media, 1460 WVOX, the Greenberg Report with Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. You can join in the conversation at 914-636-0110. Now on 1460 WVOX, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Good morning. I'm uh, Paul Feiner. I'm the Greenberg uh, Town Supervisor. And my guest today is a very dedicated associate professor of mathematics education at Mercy uh, College, William uh, Farber. Um, William uh, Farber um, is a United States Navy veteran from 1968 to, uh, to 1974. And um, for the past uh, few years, he's been involved in uh, organizing a tremendous scholarship opportunity to military veterans and reservists. They could earn a tuition-free Master of Science degree in mathematics education and become secondary mathematics teachers in our high, high school, in, in our schools. Um, the National Science Foundation uh, approved their request to recruit a new cohort of veterans for uh, the program. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Paul, and thank you for your support for veterans uh, throughout the county and beyond. You've um, done this for how many years now? We're going into our third cohort, which means that it's a 14-month program. Um, so we've done it for two spans. for uh, So it's about two and a half years. Uh, are there other schools in the United States doing similar things? I just uh, got back from the... Um, NSF Summit, where it's the transition to STEM teaching and uh, 800 to 1,000 college professors uh, have grants, but Mercy College is the only one that's addressing and focusing on veterans in this particular grant. That is, uh, that is really uh, tremendous. There's so many people who uh, graduate uh, college or get post um, uh, college degrees, and they just find it difficult to get jobs. Um, is this a like a golden opportunity for um, veterans after their military service to actually land a good job? I feel it's a wonderful opportunity for a veteran uh, to have um, a career focus, uh, given the experience that they've gained from the military. Uh, Given the uh, discipline, uh, I think that they would be a perfect fit and uh, they'd be able to share with students uh, and answer that question, what are we going to ever use this mathematics for? And so they have real life experience with it. Now, uh, this is only a master's of science degree, so they need to have a, a bachelor's degree. Um, how come the grant, you know, is designed only for graduates, graduate students? Well, the, uh, in becoming a, a mathematics teacher, uh, the, uh, a person would need at least 30 credits in mathematics undergraduate, uh, which entails four years of college. Um, the idea is that if the veteran, many veterans already have a bachelor's degree with requisite amount of mathematics credits, and then they would get the master's degree. Uh, it would take um, probably around six to seven years if it was an undergraduate combined graduate degree. Um, the scholarship and the career program provides uh, veterans with how much um, scholarship support? The scholarship support is... Um, it's outstanding. It's thirty-two thousand eight hundred dollars in scholarship support, which uh, covers the entire tuition for uh, thirty-six graduate credits. And um, how many months does it take to complete this program? Fourteen months. Wow. And how how many classes a week? There are um, three three credit classes per week. In addition to that, each veteran is assigned to a, a school, a public school in the Yonkers Public Schools, 
uh, and uh, gets experience, uh, and they team up with a mentor teacher in Yonkers. Yonkers has been very supportive uh, of this program, and we have a very good educational alliance with them. That yeah, that is uh, great. And you mentioned it's thirty six uh, graduate credits. Thirty six graduate credits and a full internship. That means a typical uh, person going into teaching would uh, have a student teaching scenario with six weeks in one school and perhaps seven weeks in another. This is immersing the veteran into a school for practically an entire year. Before we go on uh, to the break, uh, uh, how do they contact you? They contact me by email wfarber at mercy.edu. They can call my office at 914-674-7675. Great. We'll be right back, and we're going to be speaking to uh, William Farber about this amazing um, scholarship program for us, for uh, veterans who want to get a master's of science degree. I'm Paul Feiner, Greenberg uh, Town Supervisor. Now back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Hi, I'm Paul Feiner. I'm the Greenberg Town Supervisor, and we're talking with William Farber about a wonderful opportunity uh, for veterans who are looking for a free um, uh, college. It's actually a graduate Master of Science um, degree scholarship worth about $32,800 that would cover the full cost of tuition and could land... Um, um, a college graduate uh, a job as a math teacher. And um, Bill, you've you said you've done this for the past couple of years. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about some of the students? Yes. Uh, in the first cohort, we've had students that are that came back from Iraq that um, had degrees. I have one student who uh, earned a uh, master's degree in cybersecurity and was interested in segueing into teaching. Uh, I also have a student who is a reservist in the National Guard. So we're, um, we not only recruit veterans, but we also uh, are recruiting reservists, whether naval reservists. Or, uh, we also have... Um, <clears throat> students in the uh, second cohort that are finishing the program that are uh, retired from the United States Army. Uh, I have uh, naval personnel that uh, have uh, finished their, um, uh, their tour. And so I have Air Force. I have all the branches of the armed forces represented. That's great. So Mercy College must be a safe place when the students are there. <laughs> well, Mercy College... Uh, is wonderful with veterans in general. Um, they're Yellow Ribbon School, and uh, there are hundreds of veterans that are in Mercy College. Uh, and as much as I am trying to get them into mathematics teaching, many of the veterans gravitate to the School of Business and Cybersecurity and uh, Social Science. Uh, but there's still hope. That That is... Um... Great. What's the average age of a veteran who signs up at your program? The average age, I would say, is upper 30s, early 40s, um, which is on average. Uh, we have retired people uh, from the armed forces, and then we have people that have just been separated from the armed forces. Do you find that since uh, the students are older, they're more mature, and really... Uh, you know, are better students because they appreciate the importance of learning? Not only better students, Paul, but there's a, uh, a an air of experience that comes from the military and also the keen organizational skills that they bring to the teaching profession. Um, they're diligent, uh, dedicated students, 
and that will transfer over to being diligent and dedicated teachers uh, who will make math functionally relevant to students. When uh, the students um, um, were in Iraq or Afghanistan, uh, didn't they also mingle with the population, and did they do any teaching there? Tremendous social skills uh, they have gained uh, in their experience overseas, in mostly in the Middle East, and uh, I think that they would be wonderful in the classroom in our high need schools. Students uh, need good teachers, especially in the sciences and especially in mathematics. Now, is there a catch that after they graduate, they have to perform some service? So they are getting uh, scholarship support for the full tuition, and the National Science Foundation has an expectation that they will teach in a high need school for a minimum of two years, and they have four years to do that. So many of the students that have finished the program are either teaching already in high need schools or are looking for positions. That is, um, yeah, that uh, that's great. Um, were you the one who came up with the idea? I um, actually it was a projection of my own life, uh, being uh, a uh, veteran of the United States Navy, and then. Uh, taking correspondence courses in mathematics, and then eventually studying mathematics and becoming a mathematics teacher in the Bronx for so many years. So it was uh, something that I uh, actually experienced and wanted to project to other veterans. Is teaching for everybody? And do you have um, some students who may love math, but then they learn that they really don't like teaching? Well, that not only is earmarked to veterans, but that would be earmarked to, you know, a, a, a person who thinks that they want teaching, that teaching might be nice. I think that there needs to be a profound desire to really help kids and to really help them understand, help them conceptualize, especially in mathematics, which uh, uh, many students have math avoidance, math anxiety, and so we train our our students to be able to desensitize that. That is, uh, you know, that that is great. So I just want to, because we'll probably have a break in another minute or so. Just want to uh, ask how people could contact you again if they're interested in the scholarship. Yes. So please um, email me. Uh, I'm Professor William Farber uh, at Mercy College. W Farber at Mercy dot edu. And your phone? Office number is 914-674-7675. Um, and Mercy College is a recognized um, uh, you know, school. Um, how long have you worked for them? I'm going on my 10th year of working at Mercy College. And were you always into math? And oh, were you always a math teacher? I was always a math teacher. I was a, a math teacher in the Bronx, and I was a director of a math center uh, supporting teachers throughout New York City. That is, um, y you know, that is great. Um, now, the minimum qualifications. What, what are they? So, minimum qualifications. Of course, if it's a, uh, it's a master's degree, uh, the veteran would need a bachelor's degree, which includes a minimum of twenty four credits in mathematics, and a GPA of three point The mathematics credits, if the veteran is short let's say, coming in with 18 credits or so, uh, Mercy College uh, accepts the CLEP exam as creditable. Um, so they can actually take CLEP exams uh, and get the requisite credits that they need to get into the program. That's great. We have to take one more break. I'm Paul Feiner. I'm Greenberg Town Supervisor. And we'll be back with William Farber. And um, if you um, want to become a math teacher, and um, have a bachelor's degree. You could earn a master of science degree. You could call them at 674-7675. And this could be a, an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm Paul Feiner. I'm the Greenberg Town Supervisor. And I'll be speaking to everybody uh, about this program right after this break.
Now, back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Hi, I'm Paul Feiner. I'm the Greenberg Town Supervisor, and we're back with William Farber. He's an Associate Professor of Mathematics, Education at Mercy College. We've been talking about a fantastic uh, grant opportunity. If uh, you're a veteran, uh, you could go from the military to Mercy College and become a math teacher could earn a Master of Science degree in Mathematics Education, and your tuition would be 100% fully um, you know, covered. So the value of this is about $32,800 um, in scholarship support, and um, there's 36 graduate uh, credits. And are there any um, um, clinical internships? Yes, uh, the clinical internship is... Uh, we have an educational partnership with the Yonkers Schools, and we have um, recently retired uh, math supervisors and master teachers who are assigned to each veteran to give them support from Mercy College. And this is mentorship uh, in addition to the mentorship they receive from the Yonkers Public Schools. That you know that you know that's great, and um, the professional support is to prepare for a teacher certificate. Examinations. So, in addition to the 36 credits and the internship, uh, anybody who becomes a teacher uh, needs to take a battery of uh, tests uh, for certification a content specialty test, what they call an ed TPA, that's an educational teacher portfolio, and a uh, educating all students. So, there are quite a bit of tests that they have to take in order to get certified. Um, and what's the chances that somebody could get a job? In mathematics, the chances are very high. I get calls from principals. By the way, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to principals and assistant principals who are looking for mathematics teachers, secondary level from grade 7 to 12. We have veterans that are going to be graduating our program uh, and will be interested in interviewing for a position. So if you have one coming up in September, it would be wonderful to hire a, a veteran from our program. That is, uh, that is great. Um, now, there's also on-site mentoring and online uh, follow-up support. Yes, so when the veteran finishes the program, uh, we still keep in touch with them. We have a um, a mentoring specialist that uh, shares lesson plans and uh, contacts them through online support. Um, in terms of, and how long is the follow-up support for? One year. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's great. Um, have you uh, followed up the students who graduated from the program in the past couple of years? We have, and we are continually following them up. Uh, it, it's a challenge uh, because many of these students um, have families. They have children of their own, and they have uh, spouses. And so they are, some have uh, landed a job, and some are still in the process, and we're helping them ongoing. Um, how many um, uh, veterans could participate in this program? We're looking to recruit 10 veterans. I have one year to recruit 10 veterans. National Science Foundation is uh, granting a um, no-cost extension, they call it, so I can uh, get 10 veterans for in one year period. And how do you go about publicizing and getting the veterans? Is it easy or is it difficult? It's, in, in general, it's difficult. Uh, it's challenging in general to get students to go into math teaching, but I have been reaching out to VA facilities, Department of Veterans Affairs, American Veterans Associations, Troops to Teachers, Veterans of Foreign Wars, American Legion, Disabled American Veterans. There's so many organizations uh, that have been supportive and that have put our flyer onto their website. Is this like a full-time uh, coursework, or could some of the veterans do this um, and still hold a job while they're um, while they're uh, participating in this 
program. We've had veterans that drive Ubers. We have veterans that tutor students to uh, make ends meet. Even though they get tuition waived, they still need to support themselves and in some cases support families. So do, if you were rewriting sort of like the grant, should the veterans organizations have provided support for um, for living expenses also? Would have that made it easier? We do as much as we can at the college. Sometimes we are able to help them with uh, purchasing textbooks. Uh, but yes, uh, a stipend would be wonderful in addition to the tuition. However, there are uh, hundreds of grants that are offered by the National Science Foundation, so it's limited in funding. So if, the, if there's a veteran who appreciates the scholarships, but they would like they, they would need additional um, financial support. There's still opportunities for them to get that. Many veterans still have the what they call the GI Bill or the Montgomery Bill or vocational rehab or veterans benefits in general, the 9-11 Bill, uh, where they get veterans benefits. They get housing, they get tutoring, and they even get tuition, but they can waive the tuition and get other things like living expenses. So... Uh, these veterans still have uh, veterans' benefits for the most part. That that is, um, you know, great. Uh, so when will the classes begin for the next? So I have one year. The classes are going to begin at the end of May, uh, twenty twenty. And when do they end? In August third, twenty twenty one. So right now, um. There's a group that you're teaching right now? There's a group that, there's a group of five wonderful student veterans who, um, who are finishing up the program and who will be uh, already are interviewing for various positions uh, throughout the tri state area and beyond. So, one of the other advantages is since it's a very small program, that the veterans actually get support from you and others are you how many teachers are teach is it just you for how many teachers how many teachers teach the teach the class i teach we have um professors at mercy college teaching the classes uh have professor grassi who is a program manager uh who was a former principal at yonkers schools so knows the landscape of Yonkers. Uh, he teaches them educational courses. We have uh, uh, teachers um, that are teaching special education courses. We have teachers that are teaching language courses. So there are uh, probably uh, about five to seven professors. And I teach most of the courses because it's math education. So uh, what is the, like, the curriculum like? The curriculum is rigorous. It's 36 credits within um, 14 months, in addition to uh, the internship, which is credit-bearing and is connected to a colloquium that I facilitate, uh, issues and problems that uh, the veterans might experience in the classroom. And the, uh, they have mathematics classes, mathematical problem-solving, uh, differentiated instruction. There are many different uh, courses that they take that's relevant to what they need. That's great. Uh, we have to take just one more break. There's a few minutes, and then we'll be right back with William Farber, who um, is Associate Professor of Mathematics Education at Mercy College. And we're talking about a scholarship, a free scholarship a program that veterans may want to take advantage of if they're interested in becoming math teachers. And the phone number is 674 674- 7675, or you could email uh, Bill Farber at wfarber at mercy.edu. I'm Paul Feiner, Greenberg Town Supervisor. Now, back to the Greenberg Report on 1460 WVOX. Once again, here's Greenberg Town Supervisor Paul Feiner. Uh, hi, I'm Paul Feiner. Uh, and um, it's always nice um, to uh, highlight fantastic programs. And William Farber is, without question, one of the most dedicated uh, 
professors I know. He really believes in um, a program of providing veterans with um, with the opportunity to get to become math teachers, and they're offering Mercy College free scholarships um, for uh, a master's of science degree. If any listener has any questions or, or anybody wants to speak about the program, uh, you could call in at 636-0110. We only have about seven more minutes or eight minutes left, so please uh, call in if you have any questions or um, you know concerns. Um, are, are your students um, from all over uh, Westchester, or is it, do you get students from all over the country? The students represent the entire country. Uh, I have uh, a student who um, moved to uh, New York from Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. Wow. I have uh, uh, students coming from the tri-state area, from Connecticut, from New Jersey, um, two students from, from Brooklyn, New York, that we, uh, math majors that we, um, that we recruited from Brooklyn College. Uh, and so it's eclectic. They're from, you know, many different areas. And, and they can, uh, it should be noted that when they finish the program, they can teach anywhere in the United States um, as long as it's in a high-needs uh, public school. Um, you know, do you have any surprises or disappointments, you know, from this experience? Well... Sometimes uh, there's um, no such thing as the perfect match, so to speak. So there may be, uh, for example, um, a school that may not be a compatible school for the uh, for the veteran. And so, um, one, uh, for example, uh, th there's one of our veterans who um, spent six months in a school after finishing the program but realized that uh, didn't want the middle school scenario, but yeah. wanted the high school scenario. So it's no, uh, you know, it, and, and that's not surprising because that's with any teacher uh, who wants to uh, segue into a, a different venue. Right. Or so, uh, uh, could some teachers teach even the elementary level? There are um, schools uh, that are deemed as, um, you know, middle schools, which are um, could be grades five through eight, and then high schools, which are nine to twelve. But there are also schools that are K to twelve, and schools that are six to twelve. And if a although our veterans are envisioned to teach in the secondary level, which is seven to twelve, if there's a need for the veteran to teach grade six, they can. Um, again, our phone number six three six zero one one zero. And um, to qualify, let's say they graduated um, a college, um, but you know, their grade point average was mediocre. Are there minimum um, GPAs? There is a minimum of a 3.0 GPA. However, there are other things that we look at regarding a student veteran. The student veteran comes in with transcripts. And that's transcripts from the military. And so we look at that and we um, take that and we average it in and see if it gets close to a 3.0, then we, uh, we have a little bit of flexibility. Would you have like flexibility? Let's say somebody went to an Ivy League college, which is you know, much you know, tougher and they had a two point average. Um, but, you know, and then there's another student who, uh, you know, went to um, a school that isn't as uh, difficult. Is that a fact? Is that a factor? Like, do you have, uh, the, uh, do you have uh, wiggle room? Well, we have a student that's from Cornell University who is right. now looking for a, a position. He was in the Army, um, an engineer in the Army. Um, we look more at their math credits and if they have that passion for mathematics. If they um, didn't do as well as they should in other areas, then I have a committee uh, uh, consisting of our dean and our associate dean, and we look at them and we 
uh, we don't want to eliminate anybody that has a profound desire to get an education. But you want to make sure that they, they're just not going through the motions and th that they really want to be a math teacher. Right, and that's excellent that you said that because we can tell. We have rigorous interviews, uh, and um, w our responsibility is trying to ascertain whether a person can be in front of a classroom and be able to teach and so uh, and have that passion to teach. So, that's, so really, that's there's, I'm just thinking about it, there's really like two qualifications. One is people have to love math, but they also have to... Um, have qualifications where they could be a good teacher, which is, so somebody may be a great mathematician, but may not like children. Well, we will find that out right, in, but the, I'm saying in that's the interview. Another... Yeah, it's, it's a huge um, consideration because we want the person to be able to help students conceptualize and help them get away from this... Um, aversion to mathematics. We want them to show them the value and the beauty of mathematics. And so uh, we're looking for people like that also. Yeah, what are, in terms of somebody who un is able to create, make what, what, what do you need to do to be a good teacher in your opinion? You know, what are in, the most important qualifications for a math teacher? In mathematics, I would say that to try uh, to make the mathematics come alive, to make it functionally relevant to the real world, because kids are always asking, what, what are we ever going to use this for? And so there's so many wonderful mathematical models out there, especially in the military, where the student veteran could be able to make the mathematics come alive for students, have hands-on experiences, class trips, math museums, just make it motivational as possible. And with the change of technology, is math, uh, you know, being good at math, when you could have your iPhone do the work for you, is that a challenge? The iPhone, the graphing calculator, geometer sketch pad, all of these um, technolo tech technological uh uh, tools are hopefully tools instead of crutches. We have a phone call. Okay. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Yes. I have a question for Dr. Farber. Okay. What has he learned? What what profound learning has come from this experience for him? And then how does that get transferred to his students? Okay. That's an excellent question. Thank you for that. Um I learn every day. Uh, as much as the students learn in my class, I learn from them as well, especially when we have our colloquium, when they come from the Yonkers schools and we talk about uh, different issues and different concerns that they have. I'm constantly learning about teaching, about the, the, the teaching force out there now and what we expect our student veterans and how we expect them to teach kids. Great. Uh, we ran out of time. Uh, William Farber's phone number is 674-7675. Wfarber, F-A-R-B-E-R, at mercy.edu is the email. And I'm Paul Feiner, Greenberg Town Supervisor. Thank you so much for what you do. And you really are a role model for professors because you really love the job. And it, you could tell how, uh, how passionate you are about helping uh, students achieve their dreams so i i wish i had you in uh in college it's not too late paul okay anyway 1460 wvo